Hello, dudes and dudesses. Uh, what? Where am I? Oh, I didn't know it was that empty. You've probably seen this before, right? Yeah. And uh, you've maybe seen this. It's the nether version. And this you haven't seen because I haven't made a tutorial for it yet. But today we're going to be looking at this, the Iron Dwarf. It's a quadruple iron farm that works with portals. It's very compact and it's very fast. You might be seeing the uh, golems spawning and disappearing on the portals and it's so fast you might not even see it. Did you see it? Let's take it in slow motion. And this is part of why it is so fast. Uh, the old nano iron farm, it actually took uh, between 12 and 15 seconds for the golem to die and of course that delayed uh, the time when a new golem could be spawned. I just noticed something. It actually flew up in the lava, so you might want to do this. Let's go to the dwarf. Yep. So this is it. This is how it looks. It got uh, four villager parts and they work as you would expect. Uh, there are three beds, three workstations. They get scared by one guy in here. It's a pillager. And uh, just to confuse you, I named him Zombie, right? And um, there are four portals and each golem can only spawn in the corresponding portal. On the other side, it is probably what you expect. It's a portal. They fall into lava and we collect the iron. Now when you see it from the top it's easy to see that there's some uh, system to how it's built because each part needs to be exactly at least 10 blocks from each other. Otherwise they will interfere with each other and you won't get uh, each part spawning its own golem. Uh, and that's why we're using a pillager. A zombie only scares a villager 8 blocks away, a pillager scares a villager 15 blocks away. So by using a pillager we can actually make it very very compact. The villagers are not in any danger because the pillager will only fire when he's in a range of 8 blocks. Right, now I know you want to know the rates so let me FK here for 15 minutes and see how it does. Nudge, nudge, oh there you are, nudge. I had a scary experience. I mean, I looked inside my head and it was empty and I was thinking about iron. How? How do you always... Yeah, I will lay down. How do you always seem to know what's going on inside my head? I mean, I just looked into it. It's empty. Why do I think it's like that? I, I don't know. But I was thinking about iron and... Uh, it was grey there and maybe it was a connection, you know, grey, iron, I, 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 I don't know. I never know what you want me to say. What I think you want me to say, if I think you want me to say something, oh, and we're back. Um, the... Uh, if K session is over and uh, let's go to the nether and see how much iron we have made and how about the last guy come on come on yeah thank you and in 15 minutes we have made ooh, four and a half stack that's 18 stacks and that's uh, pretty average. It's always between 15 and 20 stacks an hour because the golems drop from 2 to 5 ingots. Now, let's build this thing. I will try and uh, be slow. You've probably seen this start before because it's exactly like the nano iron farm. Uh, you make a platform, set it up high, we put a sticky piston down and uh, we put a slab on it, like so. And we need some blocks to make a clock to control it. We need a torch and a bit of dust and three repeaters on four ticks. Let's just let's do like this. Yes. Very, very simple. 
and then we build it up uh, five high I think three four five yeah five high like so all the way around the corners like so and it's exactly the same as the uh, part in the uh, the nano iron farm then we look at the slab when it's up and we put another slab there on each side like so like so and then we go up one block and do the same all the way around these are the two places that the pillagers will look out like so then we put a full floor on it four blocks like this and of course we slab it off not because of the iron golems because they can only spawn in their corresponding portals but because of other mobs then we build out 10 exactly 10 blocks like this making a total distance of 11 to the pillager then we take some uh, temporary blocks like so to place the bed at the same level facing the pillager like so and then we place down two other beds having uh, the head the other way like so and then you place the lantern there and temporary blocks there there and there then it's time to bring in the villagers and of course that's different in survival you know that um, and you let them sleep for one night before you start the whole thing up then you place trapdoors there because you need to have to make sure that each villager has the right workstation if one of the villagers in the back has the, the, the workstation in the front he can uh, not work on it and slowly it will stop producing golems i was lucky let's try and clear it like this and try again now you see the wrong villager got this workstation um let's try again and it was again the wrong villager and you'll have to fiddle around so you make sure that it's the right villagers with the right workstation so they can actually work with it during the daytime and then you move these again so you have the right line of sight and then you build a roof apart, uh, over them just to make them sure so they don't get into witches like this and then you basically do the same thing four times I won't be doing it uh, four times I'm just doing one more to show you how you can actually control that the distance is correct so you build it the right way and I'm just gonna yeah let me put down the, these beds as well but what you do you know now you actually have built in out and you have a distance of 11 between the, f the nearest villager and the villager now if you go like this like this you will see maybe you will see that you have a diagonal line that also is exactly 11 blocks and that's uh, this way you know that the villager parts won't interfere with each other 11 this way and uh, 10 uh, this way into the pot and then the pot itself is 11 so that's how simple then you need to make the uh, portals and you go out three punch out the two first ones and then you put in three obsidian and another block and then you just build a regular portal three high like this and you just use lanterns because the blocks that the uh, golems are spawning on are, are <laughs> spawnable no surprise there but you don't want uh, creepers or other things to spawn there and uh, because there's no water in this farm and then you use walls on all four sides and uh, how to explain it uh, it just works it makes sure that uh, if you don't use walls they might get uh, sometimes not go into the portal uh, but if you have walls there they actually will so this is it that's that's it now let's go to the nether and see what we do there.
So I built up this polo, it's uh, three wide. It needs to be at least three wide. You can make it wider, but it needs to be three wide for otherwise they will get crammed in there. And then you go three out and you make this shape like this. Um, and you take trapdoors and put it from inside out like this. And this is just so that the golems can pathfind to the block behind it. So they will walk into the lava like so and then you take dig down four blocks so one two oh nether gold three one two three yeah one more four like so and uh, then you just go through to the other side and do the same and you can build up some sides like this, make it nice if you want to. Let's just do this really fast. Mm -hmm. And like so. And then punch out this one and put in uh, hoppers, two pointing straight and one into the other two. Like so. Speed time. Yep. And then you put in signs one block above uh, the hoppers, like so, and the same on the other side. And then you dig down until you find the hoppers sticking out somewhere down here. There they are. And you place in a double chest, like so, not like so, like so. And then you place in lava each side, like so. And then it's time to encase it just so that the, the golems won't be all over the nether, like so. You don't have to use glass. I just use glass because I like to see what's going on. And actually, this is wrong. The inner one needs to be a solid block like this, like so, so the iron golems won't glitch out. So you build like a containment area, you might say, around the portal, like so, and like so. And then you just slap it off. Now, the final thing is placing trapdoors on the portal itself and you're done all right guys thank you for watching i hope you can uh, use this in your own world hit that belly button and subscribe you know it uh, helps the channel bye <laughs>